One of the problems when treating patellar tendinopathy jumpers knee is not having the equipment. A leg extension, a leg press, especially if athletes are on the road, they might not have that stuff. So a May 2019 study tried to look into that. This was called isometric exercise to reduce pain in patellar tendinopathy in season. Is it effective on the road? Ebony Rio was the lead author, and what they did was they took 25 male and female elite and sub-elite athletes from five different sports. They were all in season, and they were diagnosed with jumper's knee because they had localized pain at the inferior pole. It was aggravated in store and release activities, which are jumping, change of direction, and they had a minimum of a 2 out of 10 pain on a pain provocation test. So the pain provocation test was a single leg decline squat, which they did before the study. The athletes measured their pain from zero to 10, and they did a visa P questionnaire on patellar tendon pain and function. Those are the two things they did. Um, the intervention, it was a four week long study. It was five sets of 30 second isometric Spanish squat. I'm doing these here, but the directions were around the upper calf, mine is kind of too high you can put it around the upper calf the spine stays upright if you lean forward it can unload the quadriceps so those are some ideas or some guidelines for the athletes using doing the study because it was self-reported so at the end of the four weeks they only had 23 athletes because two of them dropped out they didn't report well enough or whatever happened um on the single leg decline squat, that was the pain provocation test. They had a median change of 3.5, which represents an average reduction in pain of 49% of their baseline pain. That's a pretty extreme change in baseline pain from doing something simple like this. And on the Visa P questionnaire, percentage mean change was 18.8%. That would be a reach the standard of minimum clinical importance. And the adherence was high. It was five times per week. Athletes reported on average doing this exercise five times per week, five sets of 30 second isometric Spanish squat. So at the end of the study, the researchers summed it up by saying, although it would not replace a comprehensive rehabilitation that includes progressive strength, energy storage and release activities, then sport specific function reserved for the off season, it does provide clinicians with a practical in season option given the challenges around time, pain, equipment, and the inability to complete thorough rehabilitation during the competitive season. So for athletes who don't have a leg extension, don't have a leg press, or they're in season, this is a simple option to use that can decrease pain. Just do Spanish squat five sets of 30 seconds and it should lead to better results. So try it out, enjoy.